In this video, we're going to look at the couple of ways you can go about printing labels inside the system. So first and foremost, the easiest way is to go to the items detail page and just print the label itself. This comes in handy when you say you're printing labels for one of your items. Let's say, for example, you were on the site and you noticed that one of the labels for your machinery was damaged. You just go to the items detail page, click on more and click on print label. Now, what this is going to do is if you have the alert enabled, this is going to send an email notification directly to your account. Apart from this, you can also go to the assets listing page, select the items that you need. Here we go. And then click on actions and scroll down to print label itself. Again, if you have the alert enabled, this will be sent to your email address. Otherwise, you can always just go ahead to the notification icon, scroll down to the print queue, and then basically get a list of all of the labels that are in that are ready to be printed. If, for example, you want to go about printing multiple pay, uh, multiple labels per page, remember to check this box. Otherwise, for the situation that we just talked about before, where you need to print off one label, just remember that you have single step printing enabled. If in this case you want to enable, you want to insert any kind of blank labels after a label itself. So for example, you might have a, you might have a requirement in which you need to insert one label, then one blank space. You can also go ahead and specify where do you want the blank spaces to start from and where do you want them to end. Before printing the label itself, you can also go ahead and select the template that you need. And the drop down menu will display a list of all of the templates that are available against these, against these types of items. Now, a lot of you might actually opt for using commercial printing services as well. So for that situation, all you need to go, all you need to do is go to the printout templates, click on the export items print label data for commercial printing, and you will again get an e email with an Excel file with all of the data points that are required to go about handing this over to your commercial printer. So part of an efficient inventory management solution allows you to go ahead and label all of the inventory items to avoid any kind of loss or theft on the field or at your workplace or wherever the items are placed. So to accommodate this for your asset stock and inventory, all you need to do is go to the listing page, select all of the items that you need, click on actions and go to print label. Since all of the asset stock and inventory items essentially have the same barcode number, you, all, you, all you need to do is specify how many copies you need and you'll be good to go. To further optimize how you can go about carrying field operations and uh, minimizing, the, minimizing the potential of loss or theft, you can also go ahead and go to your company settings and then just look up public QR code scanning. So once you've enabled the setting, you can then basically decide what kind of attributes you want to show to the person who scans this label from their mobile phone. This can include if you have, let's say, a phone number in the custom fields, you can always go ahead and include that or any kind of attributes that you think would be relevant and would help in streamlining, streamlining the process right there and then. For more details, feel free to refer to our blog on print printing labels and reach out to us at support at easyofficeinventory.com for any other questions.